Okay, here's my first video on dilations. We're going to learn how to dilate figures from the origin or from the center of the coordinate plane. And so what we've got in this first situation, it says triangle ABC has vertices A, B, and C. And it says what are going to be the coordinates of ABC or what, what's going to be the new coordinates? If, if I call the original the pre-image, and I call the new one the image. What are the coordinates of the image after a dilation from the origin with a scale factor of 3? Okay, so I'm going to start by just plotting points A, B, and C. So A is at 2, 0. I'm going to try to make that nice and dark so you can see it. B is at negative 1, 1 half. So it's going to be halfway up on the y-axis. And C is at 1, negative 2. So if I want to label A, B, and C, I can do it like that. It says, what are the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, the coordinates of my image, after a dilation with a scale factor of 3? Well, the easiest way to look at this is your scale factor is kind of like a multiplier. Okay? If I'm multiplying by a scale factor of 3 and I'm dilating from the center, I can basically just multiply all these coordinates times 3. So if I have A is 2, 0, I'm multiplying by 3 to find that A prime is going to be 2 times 3 is 6, and 0 times 3 is 0. And I'm going to do the same for B. B is negative 1, 1 half. I'm going to multiply by my scale factor of 3 and get negative 3, 1.5, or this could also be 3 halves. And then C is 1, negative 2, times that scale factor of 3 is going to give me 3, negative 6. So I didn't really write it, but that's going to be B prime, and that's going to be your C prime. So if I start at the origin, A is there, and A prime is at 6, 0. And I'm going to kind of color code these so we can see them a little bit. A prime is that point right there after dilation. And then B becomes the point negative 3, 1.5. So instead of here, I'm at negative 3, 1.5. So my B prime is now right there. And then for C, it says my C prime, or my new coordinate of the image, is 3, negative 6. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And so, so there's that, and there's my new point. So if my original figure is this triangle, this is my pre-image, then my image is going to be those three points I just created. I should probably label those also A prime, B prime, and C prime. But that's our first example for dilating from the center. I'll look at another example where our scale factor is not um, an integer or a whole number value. We're going to have a scale factor that is a fraction this time. Notice that in this we're dealing with a rectangle and it gives us the vertices and it tells us to find the image when the scale factor is one half. So I'm going to start by plotting all these points. So A is 2, 2. I'll make that nice and dark. B is 6, 2. C is 6, 4. And D is 2, Four. So I start with that. I'm going to get a little bit closer so we can see everything. And here, once again, if I start with that A is 2, 2, now my scale factor is 1 half. Because that scale factor is 1 half, that's what I'm going to multiply these coordinates by. And 2 times 1 half is 1. And then my Y coordinate times 1 half is also 1. I just took X and Y and multiplied them by that scale factor. I'm going to do the same thing with B. Let's see, that would be 3, 1, and then C, if it's 6, 4, becomes C prime of 3, 2, and then lastly D with the coordinates of 2, 4 times that scale factor of 1 half becomes 1, 2 and that's D prime.
Now, let's, let's try this. I'm going to try to plot these points. Um, so let's start with A prime is now 1, 1. So there's my A prime. Let me, um, I'm going to do my color coding a little bit different this time. I'm going to do the pre-image in blue. I'm just going to draw the outline of the rectangle. So the pre-image is going to be in blue, and we'll do the image in pink. So let's just plot these points. I've got A prime down. Let's do B prime, C prime, and D prime. B prime is 3, 1. C prime is 3, 2. And D prime is 1, 2. So if I want to do that, that pink rectangle right there is going to be my image. So a big thing to take away from this is that when our scale factor is greater than 1, we're going to have an enlargement. In other words, our image will be greater than our pre-image. And then when I have a scale factor in between 0 and 1, our image will be smaller than our pre-image. But once again, when you're dilating from the center to summarize, all that you have to do for either situation is take your coordinates, multiply by your scale factor, and you'll get your new coordinates.